Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more automation and of course BeamNG Drive. Today what we're doing is building ourselves a very classic, very terrifying race car and then we're going to go ahead and drive that race car in BeamNG Drive multiplayer against Filmin86. So what's happening is Filmin86 is going to build a race car, I'm going to build a race car and then we're going to meet up in BeamNG Drive and race against each other with our very own classic race cars. Uh, these cars are the 1958 model year which is very significant because it marks the very first year of a mid-engine Formula One car uh, that's raced in Formula One. Uh, this is the Cooper T51, the mod body that Filmin86 went ahead and made just for this challenge. Uh, so what we're going to do is use this mod body to design our own mid-engine F1 cars and drive them in BeamNG multiplayer. We've got this 1958 year mid-engine F1 car body and it is a really big looking vehicle. I mean it's not that big but it just looks like it's definitely a mid-engine car. Uh, let's go ahead and and build our race car. It's going to be a steel panel material. We could use something exotic like fiberglass or aluminum, um, but the only issue is this body is incredibly light already, and I want to keep it in a realistic-ish weight. Even though the body panel material might not be realistic, the weight is going to be uh, fairly realistic. It's going to be a monocoque chassis. Again, maybe not the most realistic, but it's going to keep it within the proper weight. Steel chassis material, mid-mounted longitudinal engine is what we've chosen, double wishbone front and rear. We're not going to touch the quality slider for the chassis, but we'll touch it for everything else. There is no budget limits for this car. Um, it's just keeping it in a realm of realism for spec wise what we're going with though is an interesting engine choice now most cars you could have like maybe a v8 uh, an inline four or other engine types at the time we're going with a boxer six engine which is very very interesting most of these cars revved quite high for the time period at least we're gonna go ahead and make this thing rev extremely high for a 1958 model year vehicle especially a race car it's gonna be a rev, it's gonna rev just crazy high and it's gonna sound fantastic because of course it's a boxer six and they sound quite good of course notable boxer six engines you, you got yourself the porsche 911 gt3 rs which sounds phenomenal with its 9000 rpm flat six So let's go ahead and continue on with the engine. It's going to be a 1.5 liter, so a very, very small engine. Of course, it's too wide right now, so we got to make this a little bit smaller. we got to make the bore smaller. We got to need to have a bigger stroke than bore. It's going to be a stroker engine because I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know why, honestly. We've got to get the biggest displacement possible, really, with it still being under 1.5 liters uh, and still fitting within the engine base. See, that doesn't fit. It's going to be 1.391 liters of displacement, dual, dual of red cam, four valper cylinder, Cast iron head material is fine. We could go aluminum, but this is fine. Uh, we're going to go for forged steel, and then we're going to go plus 15 quality on the, the internals of the bottom end. Let's go ahead and give it a pretty high compression ratio, 11.5 to 1 to start. Uh, a pretty high cam profile of 100, because we're going to need 100 cam profile to make this thing create a lot of horsepower. And then just full race intake, we're going to go for triple carburetor DCOE, which is a, a race fuel system, basically. Uh, let's go higher on the fuel mixture. And then let's give it a race tube dual exhaust because this is going to be a race car after all, guys. Higher quality sliders and decrease this size to 1.25 inches should be fine. So, right off the bat here, uh, we can rev to 7,000 RPM without having stress on the engine. But that's not going to do. Stress is okay on the engine. It's okay in real life. A little stress is okay. So we're going to go stress on the engine. Um, it's it's it, it, it'll, it'll work fine in BeamNG Drive. Uh, it revs to 9,500 RPM, which is fairly decent i feel like to be honest so 190 or so horsepower 115 or so pound feet of torque we won't listen to the engine now we'll listen to it after the design time lapse of the car so stay tuned for that uh, but this thing is going to sound absolutely beautiful let's continue on with the engineering of the car so it's this body of course you can see here the chassis is right here so it's not it, it's not gone we have to make the chassis disappear the chassis is actually bigger than the body We'll make the chassis disappear in BeamNG, don't you guys worry. Uh, leave, the body, leave the body quality slider at zero and make it, of course, it's going to be a rear wheel drive. Four speed manual gearbox. And we'll bring the top speed to both 300 or so kilometers an hour, maybe a little less, 280 kilometers an hour. That's like 170 miles an hour, which is faster than I think any F1 car. We'll make the spacing very, very, very short and plus 15 quality on that. So we'll leave it like this. Um, and then go no different, no dif open differential. We don't want any lockers, cross ply tires, semi slicks, and let's go for 17 inch wheels and a little bit bigger tire diameter, maybe bigger than that. Come on, a little bigger. So 185s in the rear and 140, 140s up front for now. And we'll actually space them up just a little bit, give it a bit of offset. 
so it's not actually in the body like that. So we'll give it some offset in the rear, we'll give it some offset in the front. I love what we have offset. I love that there's like these indentations where the wheels kind of fit in, but they just don't actually do anything really. That's totally fine, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead into the brakes. Let's give it the best brakes possible. The biggest brakes possible as well. No wonder, Trey. Um, we'll, we'll leave the cooling airflow as is, increase the quality of that. Let's just do basic and none. We will give it uh, no power steering, no traction aids. We'll go plus 15 on that because it doesn't actually matter. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is give it the highest safety possible to add some weight. This thing is very, very light, and it would be very insanely light if we didn't actually add some quality and some safety to this vehicle, which we obviously need the weight. Progressive Springs, we'll do a race tune by default just to sort of get it ready, and then we'll change the, the camber just a bit. So just, just the front camber's gone. Um, make the ride height even lower, increase the quality of the suspension. So 1,550 pounds, pretty realistic so far. We increase the quality of our wheels. There's... 1,490 pounds, and I think what we can do actually is increase the brakes as well, 1,430, so 1,430 pounds is right where we want to be, change the brake bias, increase the brake pad type just a little bit to 60, so we've got decent brakes, uh, it weighs over 1,400 pounds, so it's pretty much within weight spec, it is a little bit down on power, but you have to imagine this car is actually very, very, very fast uh, for a car this time, the acceleration, 0 to 60, under 5 seconds, 0 to 16 under 5 seconds for a car in 1958. It's pretty incredible. The top speed is also quite good. The gearing might not be the best, might not be the most realistic. So 190 horsepower, uh, 1.4 liter Boxer 6, 9,500 RPM, which is pretty crazy. Double wishbone front and rear, 4 speed manual transmission. Weighs 1,340 or 1,440 pounds. The weight's in the rear, but hopefully we can, we can mitigate that with our very tactical driving techniques and stuff. Uh, so let's design the car in a quick time lapse, and so we'll hop into Beam and Gene, see what Philman's car is, and we'll race the crap out of these cars uh, for a good few laps. So sit back, relax guys, and I hope you enjoy. And we have finally started the build for our 1950s-ish uh, Formula 1 mid-engine race car. First things first, I did choose the wheels. I am playing with the idea of a front grille, but I go against it because this body is not perfect. Uh, it is still basically in, in development by Phil himself. Uh, what I do though is add a number and sort of a patch on top of our lucky number 13, which is my personal favorite number. We've added mirrors already, and I'm just tinkering with what I actually want to do with the design. I add a steering wheel, which actually doesn't load up in BMG, but that's okay. Adding our mirrors, which I do change later on for the actual... Um, a thumbnail, etc, etc for the car. Uh, playing with the idea of a front grille again, which I quickly get away with because it just doesn't work out with this body that well. Adding ourselves a steering column, which is probably pretty important, and a pretty uh, plush looking driver's seat, which I didn't want it to look too plush, but I wanted it to be um, sort of a classic looking race car seat, which I did look at the actual 1950s uh, Formula 1 cars to get a similar looking seat. Adding these pretty wild exhaust tips that sort of stick out the back top of the engine, which is probably right above the engine which I think is pretty dang wild, adding an intake above the driver's seat because it gets some more air suck, of course, for the engine. It's always a good thing. Adding our lucky number 13 to both the left and right side near the rear of the car itself. Um, and the proportions of this car is just so interesting. I do go ahead uh, and add ourselves a sort of a door cutout with like a sort of a body panel, which I do add some rivets later on, but not in the time lapse. Adding ourselves a shifter, uh, some panels, of course, a three panel vehicle. Uh, and just tinkering with some other things in the front, changing up, uh, adding a front logo. This is going to be a Seder vehicle, so adding a front badge and playing with the colors of the car. And in front of us is the 1958 Seder Tredecim R. Yeah. You know where the doors would be? Yeah. Those are fuel tanks. I feel like this is not safe at all. That's how they made the car! Oh Literally, God. the doors are fuel tanks on either side as well. Both sides just to make sure that you are completely engulfed in flames when you die. Honestly, <laughs> I feel like people who race these cars, you know, know how to die like men. And I respect that. Have you seen my engine yet? Uh, I, I, I mean, no, I haven't seen your engine. What, let's take, I'm going to fly inside I, I, of it. I saw yours. Yours was a flat six, which is pretty cool. Is, is, is this a V12? I can't... Is it... No. Nope. V16? Yup. That sounds like... like that sounds like... These are, like, oh, these are totally different engines. My God. 
they are very, very different engines. So I found that the more carburetors I had, the less knocking there would be. So I went with the V16 to get the most amount of carburetors. Wait, so, so you're pushing 150 kilowatts of power, right? Yeah, basically. So I'm, I'm pushing about 145. Yeah, so I've got more power. <laughs> but, but how much is yours rev to? Uh, ten and a half thousand RPM. Holy Jesus, these cars are very realistic <laughs> for nineteen six for nineteen fifty eight. Eh, very realistic. I mean, they they went up to like nine ten thousand RPM. Were they? Like uh, that wasn't out of this world. I, I was looking at the wiki page or the page that you sent me, and the one that you showed me, it said it made peak RPM, peak power at six thousand seven hundred fifty. That was a four-cylinder. Mm -hmm. They came in many different variations. So I Fair think enough. this is actually quite Canada, two vehicles here, uh, being many different variations and whatnot. And you'll notice that I fixed your steering, so it, that all works. It, I think yours is a little bit faster than mine as well. Very, very sporty. And, uh, yeah, the uh, bodies were designed after aeroplanes, so it's got the little dorsal fin at the rear there. Yeah, I, I think I did a fairly decent job. I just don't know how to use shade smoothing properly in Blender. I would, I would say it's probably a 6.9 out of 10. Hey, so the 150 is the start finish board. Three laps? What do you reckon? Uh, three laps sounds fine. Wait, wait, wait. The 150, what, what, what? Oh, the 150 meter board right uh, next to me. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's the start finish line. Beautiful. So. I, I'm wondering, because I didn't actually check too much about your engine, I just saw that it was a flat 6. Yep. Did you go with a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated or the 750cc supercharged? So mine's a 1.4 liter because a flat 6 is very wide apparently to fit in this body, so it's a 1.4 <laughs> liter flat 6. What, what would you, uh, your, yours, is, yours is NA, it looks like, no? Yeah, a 1.5 liter. Nice. V16. Wow, that's, just, that's ridiculous, that gets terrifying. Uh, nearly three times the amount of cylinders as yours, so I have very minuscule little pistons. Yeah, but mine is, um, mine's cooler. Mine's got yellow wheels. <laughs> Alright, you ready to race? It's the three laps. Um, best looking wins. Oh, well, I win. Oh, do you mean the cars? Oh, the cars, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. I, just, <laughs> I, I lose probably still. Okay, y you can count it down. Um, right. wait, 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 uh, is there rules if we crash? If we crash, we could just, like, do we have to brake fully first? Or, like, what are the rules if we crash or destroy a car or whatever? Okay, if you crash, give yourself, like, a two count, uh, when you're completely stopped, and then reset your car. Okay. If you go through, uh, a chicane or a corner incorrectly, you cut too much, uh, give yourself, like, come to a complete stop and give yourself a two count, then go again. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, Are you yeah. ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm born ready, baby. Oh, sh uh... Apparently my clutch does nothing. Oh, oh god, who needs a clutch anyways? Okay, are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! I, I heard you're a little bit slow off the line, but that's fine. You've got the inside line. I'm trying to use that's my you don't actual me. shifter and I'm not used to it at all. Oh yeah, no, I tried to use that for the last video that I did for these F1 cars. And it sucked. So we've given really up. Bad. Yeah, we've given up on that already, to be honest. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. Nope. Oh my Gone god. around already. Have you passed me yet? I don't know. Oh yeah, oh yeah I'm way past you. This is, I've already won Damn the, it. I've already won the race, Phil. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay, my car sucks. Your car is beautiful. I, I That's think, all that matters. I, I think I made your steering fast, and I didn't actually do that on mine. So. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Maybe I'll crash. You never know. Maybe I won't crash at all, actually. I yeah. mean, if I was to not crash, that would be absolutely phenomenal <laughs> and very unlike me. <laughs> Lost traction whilst braking and then went sideways right. and ended up on the dirt. Crash number two. Okay, all I have to do is not crash and I'll win. I'm still ahead of you. I think. I don't know where you- yeah, where are you? Long. Oh my god! You went right over me! Holy shit! Shit! Oh, oh I have to reset. Oh Wait. my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I wanted to see what that looks like from your side. I have to watch your- That was a camera side. angle. That was a camera angle. I honestly <laughs> shit my pants. That was so oh, oh. oh no! Oh no! Ah oh, shit! Oh damn it. Oh, I'm gonna have to rewind this one. I am totally in the bushes here. I'm, Three, I'm good, two, I'm good. One, okay, 
<laughs> that, that ended up just being so perfect. I was lining up to you. I was catching up. I was like, wait, hold on. I think I can make a pass here. <laughs> you turned a little bit too much right. And I went, uh-oh. And then I realized, hold on, there's a jump here. I'm going much faster. And it, it was perfect. It was so perfect. Except my lack of driving skill. God damn it, I went around again. My, oh. my drive's like a dream, honestly. Um, I, I, I think I'm on lap three now. I'm going to try to get some air in that jump, though, because I feel like I deserve a little bit of air. <laughs> oh, God. I My car does not handle like a dream. I I want to try your car after this. Yeah, we, we, oh. we, we should oh. switch cars. That's what we God. should do. We should switch cars and we should, we should <laughs> give her another rigor. Oh, wait, roll. hold on. I forgot, I forgot to change my engine position. Ah, oh, I actually have it set up as a variable. Almost spun out, we're good. Oh, you, you went into the final corner? I'm only just starting my third lap. God damn it, oh my God. every single time. God, are you finished? Uh, just gonna... uh, yeah, I'm finished. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey. Oh my <laughs> gosh. You spawned in me. <laughs> this is blasphemy. I'd say this is fine, honestly. I... Now, you want to switch cars? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm switching over now. Wait, wait, so how, how do you pronounce your car? The Tunningly? Yeah, the Tunningly. Tunningly R56? All right. All right, fair enough. It's, uh, it's kind of a... Kind of a... You may not know this, mm -hmm. but uh, because mid-engine was such a rare thing, it was just considered that because the uh, engine was in the rear of the vehicle that they were always just called rear engine. Ah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, there's a lot of wheel spin here, but then we pull away. You, you got longer gears? Okay, handicap. okay, you got longer gears. I actually made the gears really short compared to what the engine could take. Yeah, yeah, same and here. It, it could go really fast. Oh my god, this vehicle handles so much better than mine. Oh god. I crashed. <laughs> now you know what I went through. Oh god, so did I, but it's still dry. Oh my god, I think I've lost my front suspension, so I'm going to have to come to a stop. <laughs> Reset my car, give it one, two, three. Alright, I'm away again. Yeah, my god. This car handles so much better than mine. It, like, I was going for a little bit of a meme with a V16. I didn't realize how bad of an idea that was. Well, how, how did you set up your suspension? I hit the race preset and uh, changed the, the roll bar a little bit. That was it. Okay, I. Oh my gosh, you're just terrifying. Holy crap. <laughs> Oh, I reached 111 on the back uh, straight here. Oh my god, this vehicle is so much better than mine. Like, it's worlds apart. Yours is faster god, though. Have it... eh, a little bit. <laughs> but you have to actually get onto the straight to go faster. We're doing three laps again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, all locking up. Okay, you still have that issue. Yeah, no, it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, it's not shade. The brakes are the same. Oh my gosh, your back end likes to really swing around though. Oh, very much so. Being a, uh, uh, oh, wait, hold on. Do no, you want to restart? No, 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 it's fine. Because we forgot to move the engine into the correct place. This is a man's That's car. <laughs> how, how did you add extra weight? Because, uh, you know, my car would have been very light if I didn't add extra weight. Oh, right. yeah, you're right. Uh, my vehicle was actually quite light. I used aluminium panels and a, a tube chassis. Oh. So... Yeah, my vehicle would have been very light, uh, generally overall. Yeah, mine would have been very, With very the light. Big stop. Yeah, of course. But I, I just added also, I, weight and safety, tons of safety. So maybe that has something to do with it too. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think that was a tie, All probably. Right. trying to mate with me the mating call of the on video the satyr whatever this thing is called 13 in <laughs> latin i can't pronounce it right now <laughs> i don't know much latin either but yeah thanks right for coming out um sorry that the mod wasn't a little bit easier to use and all of the jankiness no it, it wasn't too bad what's that white thing on your front wheel there is that a number circle where I think it is oh you've taken my number circle on my screen Wait, what? <laughs> the 13 on the hood. Oh, 13 on the hood of mine is missing, and it's attached to your front wheel. Oh, God. Uh, quality. I love automation. Before we finish off the video, I just want to give a huge shout-out to my Quad Turbo Rank members. 
Thank you so much to Ruben, DD Man, Jay, and Childish Sid for helping make this channel what it is today. You guys are awesome. And thank you everyone else who supported the channel one way or another as well. Uh, join the Discord linked in the description below. I'm going to have another video coming in a few days, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to start testing the Groupie Rally cars starting a few days after that. So thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, as always, I'll see you next time.